Hi, welcome back to my Guild Wars 1 Prophecies adventure experiment. I am standing here in Ascalon City again, and I thought last time that I might be finished with all the quests in this area, in this pre-searing area. But I looked around, I wandered around, uh, looked up, I looked up some stuff on a wiki, and there are more quests. So I am going to go through and quickly knock them out. First I'm going to look at what is available from Baron Egan here in Ascalon City. Hello, good citizen. I'm Baron Egan, and you appear to be in need of assistance. What is it I can help you with? Well, it's actually more like, what can I help you with? The Devourer Cave, southwest of town, has always been a source of danger to the people of Lakeside County, but they have learned to be vigilant and to defend themselves from the beasts. Unfortunately, I've been hearing recently of a new sort of devourer with a poisonous sting. I'd like you to find one of these creatures, kill it, and take its poisonous stinger to Brother Menlo in Ashford Abbey. All right, Baron Egan, you can count on me. I am recording on Sunday morning, November the 19th, 2017. Here we are. The, uh, the two guys are gone now. Oh, there it is, the Plague Devourer. He has shown his face. He is... He is a menace no more. Brother Menlo, I have taken care of the Plague Devourer. Is that the poisonous stinger intact? Yes, it's perfect. And there's enough here that I can begin work on an antidote. You are welcome. See Brother Menlo for your reward. Okay, I did that. What's going on here? I delivered the poisonous stinger. Okay, that seems like a bug. I don't get this. Maybe I just have to wait for him to work on it. Well, while we wait for Brother Menlo to work on the poisonous stinger, I guess we'll accept another quest from Baron Egan. A group of bandits has been terrorizing Lakeside recently. They have grown so bold that they ambushed a royal tax collector and stole a chest full of gold. That gold is vital to our war effort against the Char and must be recovered. You look like you could give those bandits a good thrashing. Will you recover the stolen chest and then return it to Devona in Ashford for me? You can count on me, Baron. Coffee has been obtained. I understand there are bandits in the area. Stand aside. I will take care of the bandits. Hmm. We have three Bloodsworn. Whoa, okay, here they come. So much for strategizing. I have found the Ashford lockbox. Oh wow, I have to carry it all the way back. Hey Trina Yun. I love the city, but not as much as I love the woods. Regent Valley is wonderful at this time of year. Devona, I have a special delivery for you. This is that chest of stolen gold that Baron Egan has been talking about. It must have been difficult dealing with those bandits. I'm impressed. If only we had more like you, we'd have no fear of the char at all. Mission accomplished. Back to Ascalon City. Apparently there is a Captain Osric out here somewhere. Okay, well it says Cop Captain Osric has a quest, but he clearly does not have a quest. Oh, he has a quest now. I have a very important mission for you. Why, how did, what the? So his quest, Captain Osric has a quest, but only after the Duke leaves. Where did the Duke even go? I didn't see where he went. 
I'm going to grab a quest here from Captain Osric while I have, while it's available. I have a very important mission for you, Logan Leatherhands. The prince's love, Althea, will celebrate her birthday tomorrow. The prince has charged me with finding the perfect gift, one that is as unique and beautiful as Althea herself. What do you say? Can you help me? I think I can handle that. I already have the gift. Because I think it's a beautiful pearl. Captain Osric, I think I have a gift for Lady Althea. Have you found the perfect gift yet? Remember, like Lady Althea, it must be beautiful. Here, I have a beautiful pearl for you. A pearl, simple, elegant. But Lady Althea must have something unique and more personal. Please, keep looking. There's a guy named Namar down here by the big doors. He has a quest for us. Alas, I am behind on my rent, and my landlord, Gelston, has run out of patience with me. I fear I will be put out of my home. I'll understand if you'd rather not help a Crichton. Our nations were at war a long time, but I'm not your enemy, and I could really use some assistance. My friend, Miller Upton, lives to the southwest. I know he'll help me if I can get a message to him. If you're going that way, could you tell him of my plight? Sure. How could I refuse? Here's Miller Upton. All day long we turn the stone and grind the wheat. Just turn the stone and grind the wheat. Just once I'd like there to be a little excitement in my life. So, what is it you want? Well, about this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I really can't worry about helping Namar until I get rid of these damnable bees. Think you could give me a hand? Take one of the honeycombs lying on the ground and use it to lure the bees across the bridge. If you lure those three swarms of bees away, I'll be able to think straight again. I think I can do that. So I guess I need to pick up the massive honeycomb. Use the honeycomb to lure the three bee swarms across the bridge. Where are the... Whoa, uh, yeah, e egad. The bee swarms are after me. One, two, three. I think there are three bee swarms. Okay, they're across the bridge now. Now what? It's a, something's weird here. My quests are just not completing. What is going on here? I am walking across the bridge, approaching the green star. The quest is not updating. Oh my god, now I know what's going on. I don't have any inventory space. Ah, why didn't I realize this? I am such an idiot. I feel like that should be a little more prominently displayed. I guess it's pointless to complain about Guild Wars 1 problems. I can't believe that I didn't realize that my inventory was full. There we go. Finally, we can complete some quests. Poor Farmer Dirk. If only he would let me help him solo. Okay, Devona, I've made room in my inventory. Can we complete this quest now? Yes. Okay, let's see if we can deal with this massive honeycomb now. Okay, well this is not updating. This one is still not working. What is happening? Do I have all the bees? I only see one set of bees. Where are, are all the bees? Well, maybe that's why it never worked, because I, I didn't have all the bees with me. Ah, there's a second one. A third one, I mean. Aha! I think we have three swarms of bees with us now. So I was complaining about these quests, and there was nothing wrong with them at all. It was all user error. Although I will say that the, the user interface feedback was not sufficient. Yes! I have completed it. I'm going to drop the massive honeycomb and return to Miller Upton for my reward. 
Sorry about that. I was trying to make dough infused with honey, but all it did was attract bees. Not to worry about Namar, though. I'll see to it Gelsan gets off his back. No doubt Gelsan's trying to take advantage of Namar because he's not from Ascalon. Once he knows there's a citizen willing to stand up for Namar, he'll back off. Excellent. There sure are a lot of people in Guild Wars 1 still. Lots and lots of people still play in this game. By playing, I mean standing around in the city. Okay, Namar, I saved you. Well, you're not even going to say thanks. Jeez. Next, we're going to knock out a couple of quests here from Prince Rurik. Well met, young ranger. It's a glorious day to be alive, is it not? I know some might think of these as dark times with the Char threatening us from the north, but Ascalon is the greatest nation in fair Tyria. We shall never fall before the Char. Never! Char in the catacombs? This Char agent that you and Devona witnessed leading the Grawl worries me greatly. I've questioned the guards and many of the townsfolk, but none have seen him. I suspect that he is using the catacombs to move through the countryside unseen. My men are all busy safeguarding the wall, and I can spare none of them. If you are willing, I'd like you to go into the catacombs to see if you can find any evidence as to where this char is hiding. Perhaps Brother Menlo at the Abbey has seen something. I will find the evidence that you seek, and I will return. Brother Menlo, I hear you know something about a char. A char ranger south of the wall. Rurik is right to be worried. I have seen nothing, but perhaps Mistress Mun can offer you some assistance. She is much more familiar with the catacombs than I. Mistress Moon, do you know anything about a char? Rurik is wise to suspect the char of moving through the catacombs. They are fraught with much danger, but if you were familiar with them, they could lead you to almost any region in Ascalon. Seek out my associate Oberan, the Reviled. He makes his home deep in the catacombs and will know if any char have ventured there. Hmm. Crafting materials. No, I'm... I'm resisting the temptation to pick up crafting materials. I know I am not going to do crafting in this game. Hmm. I'm not going that way again. I see a lot of red dots up there. On the other side of that wall. I think we're getting somewhere. Oberan the Reviled. And Restless Corpses. Why are you just standing here among a bunch of Restless Corpses? Well, he is a necromancer. I guess it makes sense. Greetings. I am called Oberon. Curses are my specialty. What can I elucidate for you, young one? I am here about a char. You come here seeking a char. You were wise to seek out Oberon, for no creature, be they living or dead, moves through here without my knowledge. This char that you seek comes often to this underground, but he does not make his lair here. The spirits of this place would not tolerate him should he seek to take up residence. If you require proof of his presence, take this. It's a token he left behind during one of his encounters with the denizens of this place. Now then, leave me to my studies. Return to the world of light. Okay, creepy guy. Prince Rurik, I have news. This is proof enough. You have served Ascalon well this day. I will mobilize the troops and search for this beast. Hey, I got to level 8. Wow, I didn't think I was going to make it to level 8. I'm going to take another point of... Let's see. I think I'm going to go with expertise because that's going to decrease my... That's going to decrease my energy use. All right. A group of Char have broken through the gates. They must be stopped at all costs. 
Meet me at the gates just outside of town in Lakeside. What say you? Will you help me drive these char from fair Ascalon? I'm with you. Follow Rurik and help him defeat the char. You're not moving, Rurik. Okay, I guess I have to go outside first and then follow him. To the gate! Follow me! Rawr, we're all here. We got Prince Rurik. Oops, I can't turn around and look while I'm running. But it looks like there's a monk with us. A monk, a guard. Quickly, this way! Oh, I guess I can't stop or he'll yell at me. Shouldn't you have an army with you or something, Prince Rurik? For this sort of thing? Char! A blade warrior. Oh my goodness. This blade warrior is doing a lot of damage to me. Wow, these char are no joke. One down. Char Ash Walker. What? What the heck's going on? Oh, I, I clicked the wrong thing. That's the last of them. Well, that was easy. Except for this one guy. Char Hide can be salvaged. Eh, okay. We did it, Prince. That should teach them to fear the might of Ascalon. You fought well. I see great deeds in your future, young Logan Leatherhands. Yay! I did it. Now, I think I only have one quest left, and that is a gift for Althea. So what I need to do is look around and find the perfect gift for Lady Althea. I already had a beautiful pearl. I mean, I already brought him a beautiful pearl, but he didn't like that. So we need to find something else. And I think that unless there's a green star on my map somewhere, which I don't see, I'm just gonna get out the old wiki and figure out where I need to go. I have consulted a Guild Wars 1 wiki page, which has pointed me in the right direction. Ah, here's the beautiful feather. Give the beautiful feather to Captain Osric. Not yet. Here's a chest. A beautiful pendant. Yes, there's a beautiful pendant in the chest here. Okay, now we can head back. Have you found the perfect gift yet? Remember, like Lady Althea, it must be beautiful. Well, here's a beautiful feather. This is a magnificent feather. One could probably fashion an exquisite writing quill from it. But I believe we need something a bit more regal for our lady. Please keep looking. What about... What about this pendant? Wherever did you find this beautiful pendant? Yes, this is the perfect gift for Althea. Prince Rurik will be delighted. I'll make sure he knows of your involvement in obtaining the one thing that is sure to please his lady. Yay! I have cleared out my quest log. Well, I think we have completed all the quests that we are going to complete before the searing. So all of this time, all of this area has basically been a tutorial for Guild Wars 1. All of these quests, this has all been the tutorial area. I'm on my fifth video. I haven't really added up all the playing time that I've done yet. Does it? Will it tell me? Nope, it will not tell me. How about age? You have played this character for 9 hours and 36 minutes over the past 8 days. 
so it's taken me 9 hours and 36 minutes to get through the tutorial areas. And I have compressed all of that down into the 5 videos that you have been watching. Now it is time to go back to Sir Titus. But before I do that, I'm going to stop this video here. This will probably be a somewhat shorter video, but I want to make sure that the, uh, the Sir Titus thing starts at the beginning of a video. So that will be at the beginning of the next video. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.